The seeds have sprouted. So I'm gonna take you guys back to when I started them and we're gonna go through the whole process of how I started the onions and the brassica seeds for the year. Good morning friends. It's February 16th. It is Wednesday. I'm just getting my week started. I'm working today, working from home and being a mama and trying to record this video and pumping all the time because I am exclusively pumping for this little guy right now. More to come on that at some point. And yeah, got a lot going on. I still haven't brushed my teeth yet and it's almost noon. I still haven't brushed my hair yet and it's almost noon and I still haven't changed out of my robe and it's almost noon. But I am taking care of this little guy and I'm organizing a lot of stuff for work. So anywho, one thing I'm gonna work on today, let me show you is seed starting and soil blocking. So I have my onion seeds and I'm gonna start with those today. I'm also going to start some artichokes. And I actually don't know if I'm gonna soil block with my onions. Um, it depends on if I can find certain materials or not. Um, there may be some things buried outside in the foot of snow that we have. I'll show you that in a minute. But I am gonna start onions today. I had Chris bury out <laughs> Um, a couple bags of compost from the garden that were sitting under snow and I have a couple bags of seed starting mix and I'm gonna mix those two things together to start my seeds this year so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start some seeds and I'm gonna share that process with you once we get started but for now I gotta get this bubby to sleep right bubby I gotta get some work done and after I'm done with working for the day then we're gonna start some onions and I'll bring you along with me Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Good morning friends, it has been a few days since I originally planned to start seeds I think it was like Wednesday and then Thursday came and Friday came and I was just too busy with work So we're going to get started with seeds today. I've got my little buddy here We're gonna see how it goes. Chris is gonna help me. So it's gonna be a family affair he is getting some gloves right now. Then we're gonna combine two different types of soil, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And we're gonna start onions and brassicas and celery and a couple artichokes. So let's, uh, let's go show you guys the grow room. Making your way past all the baby stuff. Okay, here's the grow room. We've got some trays and cells and pots ready to go. Our two different types of soil that we're combining bucket for combining them, seeds, and then this is what I'm gonna use for soil blocking, this tub right here. And I have my new soil blocker right here. I'm gonna use the soil blocker for um, a few different things. Kai, which variety are you most excited about growing this year? Which one? All of them? Hmm, I think he's most excited about peas because his bib says peas. It says give peas a chance, doesn't it, Bubba? Yeah. You ready to start some seeds? I love this baby carrier. I actually have 
a code for free shipping for the month of February. So I'll put that in the description below along with a link where you can shop for these wraps. Kai likes it too. So a cup with some random soil in it. Possible. Good luck. So we've got a soil starting mix, a seed starter mix from Light, what's it called? Light Warrior out of Fox Farm. And then we have Bumper Crop, which is a Coast of Maine product, uh, which is organic compost blend. So we're going to mix those two 50-50 for seed starting. One's really, really light and the other one's really rich. So I think the mix of the two will work really well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think it will work, Bell Bubba? Do you think we'll use all this inside? There's the light and fluffy stuff. You can see lots of vermiculite and perlite in there. The Bubs is now asleep. Things should be a little bit easier now that he's sleeping. Adding water to the soil. Can you just mix it around to see how, how it looks? learned in the past 10 minutes this I way underestimated how hard it is to do anything with him sleeping on me and I thought I could start seeds with him but I was sorely mistaken and now he's asleep so I'm gonna leave him here second thing I learned is that soil blocks you need a really big tub or else you run out of soil really fast and it's really hard to get enough um, pressure on the soil blocker so that they're nice and dense so we upgraded there we are now we went from this tiny little thing that came from the hospital actually to this large tub. So luckily I have a helper. I'm the seed starting surrogate. Seed starting surrogate. Okay, let's try this new method. It's not like it's just leaving a bit of a cavity at the top here. I just wanted to make sure that they are all gonna be uniform, like you said. Just having trouble getting it, but let's see how that goes. Just try it like that. Yeah. Always shining right. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shapes, and you're doing the same. So I'm using the soil blocks to start brassicas and greens and celery, since those things are all going to be transplanted in the ground in about two months here. So we'll see how that goes. And, and then I'm using tr uh, cells for onions since they don't need very much space. 
and that's all I'm doing today is onions and brassicas. Little man woke up, so I've been relinquished from baby duty. Hi! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you might want to eat. So I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna work on the planting. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna work on planting these blocks. Did you said, oh, you left. He left one row of soil blocks for me. And I'm going to plant the onions and then we'll be done. And I'll go for what I did. You always used to love the rain, but LA yeah. changed you. No rain, no flowers. Nothing's growing where your heart is fire. But baby, I bet you're cold without me. Even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in. Okay, let's go look at the onions. Do you want to go look at the onions together? <laughs> He's so sweet. Let's go look at the onions. She's my favorite. My favorite little sprout. Okay, boo boo. Do you want to see what the onions are doing? I saw some coming up. The onions have sprouted, or they're just starting to sprout, and so have the brassicas. And I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what I did to start these, these little seedlings. So for the onions, in a 72 cell tray, I planted like five to seven seeds per cell, which sounds like a lot, but I block onion plant, which means that I plant a lot of seeds per cell, and then the onions actually provide each other with a little bit of support as they grow. So having a lot packed, packed in one cell is totally fine, plus, um, I don't have crazy success with onion germination, so I'll probably only have like four to five little onion seedlings per cell, which is a good amount for me. So I do that because it provides support and it ups my a number of onions that I'm able to grow. And uh, we eat a lot of onions, so it's nice to grow a lot of onions. Right, boo-boo? I didn't do them in soil blocks this year because I feel like they need a little bit more support because they're so fragile and they're so um, they're so small and like they just don't have a lot of support with their roots. So I like the structure of a cell for onions. But I'm really excited about soil blocking for the brassicas because I'm probably going to need to transplant them into pots at some point, large pots, and this way the transplanting process is going to be so much easier. And the soil blocking process was super easy. Um, once we found a tub big enough to use and got the soil nice and moist, it was really easy to use. Would you say so? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then um, I only did one little row, the last one, but I don't think I'll have any problem doing it either. Chris did a great job though. So the soil blocks will be nice because we don't have to worry about them getting root bound because the air acts as a natural barrier to the roots so the roots don't try to circle over and over again. What do you think? Oh, do you see the little sprouts? Do you see the little sprouts? So bright. So bright. <laughs> well, I think that's enough talking about soil blocks. I'll continue to update you guys on how everything does as it grows this year. See you guys later. Bye friends.